Welcome to my channel and today I have another Christmas craft for you. So I'm making a few last minute gifts and I thought I'd show you how I'm going to make them. So today I am making these mason jars, like a little Christmas um, design on them. Uh, so this is like a Christmas tree one that I've done and I think I'm going to now do like a snowman one. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that I did was look for an image on Google and I found this one that I liked. This snowman one says walk in the winter wonderland. So all I did was just save the image. And then let's just save that to my file. Then I go into the Silhouette Design Studio, import the image into my library. So just go to import, import to library, find the image, which is there, and then click OK. Import it to your library, and then you can just click on it, it brings it here. And then all you need to do is close that, is go up here to the trace option and click select trace area and then just select your trace area as close to it as you can then adjust the high pass filter there we go so everything is in yellow and then you just click trace so then remove your picture you can delete that now and then you've got your cut file here so this is all grouped together you can ungroup it so you can cut cut each bit separately because I want them in different colors so I'm just going to ungroup it and then group together the ones that I want grouped so Oh, let's release the compound path first and then you can group want these bits grouped together I want the holly grouped together there we go and then I'll just go to my file which I have ready to cut oh, there it is so this one's ready to cut that one this one's ready to cut. So this file's ready to cut. The first thing I'm going to cut is the writing and this is going to be in silver. I'm just going to get my silver vinyl loaded up onto... Sorry, my computer's really noisy. So I'm just going to get my silver vinyl loaded up onto my cutting mat. So I've measured the surface of my mason jar mugs and it is... the width is two inches and the height is three inches so I need to make sure that the image is no bigger than that okay so I now have my silver vinyl silver glitter vinyl loaded onto my mat I'm just gonna load it into the machine there we go. I've got my um, blade set to one for vinyl and I'm just gonna go to cut on here and let it cut it out okay so it's finished on cutting it out now So I'm now just going to weed this.
right there we go that one's all weeded now I'm gonna do the next color okay so next I think I'm gonna do the arms they're gonna be in gold so I just need to go to no cut for these bits now so I click on it and just click on no cut And then I'm going to click on the arms. Arms are going to be in gold. Okay, so I've just loaded the vinyl into the silhouette. And then I'm just going to click on, on start so it starts cutting. Okay, so next I think I'm going to do the arms they're going to be in gold so i just need to go to no cut for these bits now so I click on it and just click on no cut and then i'm going to click on the arms arms are going to be in gold Okay, so I've just loaded the vinyl into the silhouette and then I'm just going to click on, on start so it starts cutting. Here's my little piece of vinyl. I'm just gonna weed it now. There we go. So there are the arms. So now I'm gonna do the scarf and the holly in red. Just gonna load my red vinyl onto the mat. Okay, so come back to silhouette now. I'm just gonna press no cut for the arms because we've done those. And I'm now moving on to the scarf, which is this bit. Cut, cut on that one. Select cut and select the holly and select cut. And then I'm just gonna press start. <coughs> Okay, so I'm just going to weed this piece now. Oh, he's really small. Let me get a little pin. Okay, 
so that's now weeded so now I'm going to do the holly leaves load the green with my not on yeah. and then on the computer I'm just selecting no cut for the ones we've just cut and then just selecting the holly leaves and pressing cut and now it's going to cut these are really small okay so now I'm just going to weed this very carefully there we go I just need to get the middle out there we go so there's a holly now I just need to cut out the hat which I'm going to do in a greyish black colour Computer, I'm just going to deselect the holly and select the hat instead and then I'm just going to send it to the silhouette it should start putting this now there we go there's the hat so I'm now going to assemble this on the transfer paper and then transfer it to the uh, mason jar mug okay so I'm just going to get all my pieces and get my transfer tape ready and here are all our pieces to assemble Okay, I'm going to start by putting this bit onto the transfer tape. I'm going to put the scarf on and the holly next to very carefully line this up okay, that'll do. Holly on. And finally, the arms.
And there we go, that is now ready to put onto the mason jar. Okay, I'm never sure what side I should uh, put it on, but I'm going to do it this way, I think. Okay, here we go. placed him on there, you can see. There we go. And now I'm just gonna scrape it this. Especially around the start on the holly because the small ones are usually really hard to get to stick. So, we haven't managed to get the holly off, everything else is on. So I just need to try and get the holly off. And there we go. Oh, snowman. I really like that one. I think that's nice. So here's a little closer look at the mason jars that I made. I'm really happy with them. I think they look really nice. And now I'm going to fill them with sweets. Okay, so I'm just going to fill these with sweets now. I'm not sure how many I'll need. I think I might just give them a wipe down inside as well just because it's quite cold and they've got a bit of condensation in them so I'm just going to wipe them down. So these little mason jar mugs I got a couple of years ago um, and I think they're like 89 pence each so they're really cheap. So this is a really good little gift idea to do. I think they look really nice. Probably should have made some more, but they were quite fiddly and they took quite a while. But I couldn't make some more tonight for my family actually. Start filling them with some sweets. I put two of each sweet in at first and then see how many I'll need of the others. So two of them.
think that's enough. And I'm just going to tie a ribbon around each one and then they can be wrapped up. And now Leo's found a chocolate box. I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the, each one. Just put a bit of this around it, I think. I'd like to have put some green around, but I haven't got green. I really like red or white. It's off to do. with the little ribbons on but really festive I'd enjoy getting one of these for Christmas as well as filling them with sweets one year I actually did them and I filled them with hot chocolate so I put hot chocolate powder in I put um, chocolate ch um, chips in and put marshmallows in and I put little candy canes in as well so that people can make their own hot chocolate and then I put a little tag on telling them how to make their hot chocolates so that is another idea you can do with these jars. Obviously if you do that you'll need the lids that don't have the holes in. Um, I had had some actual mason jars um, which had proper lids on which I took off them and put onto here so I could put the hot chocolate in but that is another idea you can do for filling them. You could put like beauty products in there maybe. So there's lots of things that you can put in them but I thought chocolates is the easiest to do. And we already had them in the house, so I don't want to have to go out to the shops again. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Hopefully it's given you an idea of something you could make for someone as a last minute gift for Christmas. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. We will